I'm uh, just going to discuss amps for cars. Uh, this one's actually going to be a motorcycle that I'm installing it in. And this is going to be the Soundstream amplifier. Um, it's also going to have a 1200, uh, ST4 1200, I believe, uh, which represents 1200 watts um, peak. So I'm just going to show you one or two quick little things. So I'm not necessarily 100%. I talked to someone on the... Um, from the company about this and they said I was wrong and uh, I don't know how to take that but I'm going to show you real quick so with this amp because it is very compact as you can see it in my hand it is not a huge amp so that's why I'm putting it on my bike um, it has connectors for high input uh, front and back plus the gain and then the crossovers crossovers are on top the other side, you have two 20 watt fuses, the power in, and the speaker out. So, if you go by the diagram they send to you, uh, this is part of their like 15 page packet. You can see, for instance, that uh, violet black is positive for the right rear, which is funny because if you go in and you look at how this is lined up, this is the speaker output. I uh, also want to mention, this is the thickest speaker, about as thick as the power wire, um, and that's the output. The input speaker wire is tiny. Like, if you look at them next to each other, it's amazing how thin this stuff is. Um, I'm running pretty, pretty good stuff. I'm running 8 gauge power, which pretty much <clears throat> an 8 gauge ground. Uh, if you see off the bike, I have some... Some good speaker wire, different colors because I'm running front input um, and then back out to front and rear is back in this trunk. So I color coded the wires so I know where they're coming from. Um, you can see this is all going to be a lot thicker. Uh, this is going to be the power remote. Um, the guy on the phone said that you need a remote to activate this. The manual says you do not, so I didn't attach it. Uh, I haven't bundled this all together yet, um, but you can see the output is a couple thin red. You splice them together, a couple thin ground, splice them together, and then this is what you're running. I'm running it to 8 gauge, um, so it's a big difference for that. And then my speaker wire, which I'll put a piece of my speaker wire. My speaker wire minimum, small speaker wire that I'm running through this bike is this red stuff in the middle. Um, I have a little thicker running all the way to the front. So that's the output I'm using compared to the, and the input even, running it from the other uh, corners of the bike. And this is, you can see the input of their speaker wire. It's a lot thinner. And then it does match up with their output. Um, so the one thing that does concern me is getting back to this. So if you go by uh, the color coding of the chart, and then you go by the coding on the actual amp being negative, positive, negative, positive, you can see that the right, left, negative is on top left, right, left, positive, bottom left. And then when you go into right, rare, positive is violet black, negative is violet. So I'm just going to skip to the chase. But according to the brochure and the print on the amp, the outputs um, for the rare left and the rare right are both reversed. You are supposed to be able to put a screwdriver or something into this uh, tiny, tiny screwdriver or paper clip, and you can pull them out the quick connectors, switch them around. I'm not doing that on these because it's a bundle. Uh, so I just switched them on the other end. Um, and then also, they, are, they were switched on the input as well. The input is a lot easier. You can see there's these little clips. I'll try to see it. Those little clips. You can just take a tiny fine point, 
push those down and pull the wire out and switch them so I switched those right around that's a lot easier so I think that I had a four six wires I had to switch total um, from the factory so I'm going by the fact that someone made this brochure and printed out on the amp I'm going by that I'm not going by these um, pre-made jackets um, that so that could be a problem I don't know you're gonna lose your base if you cross polarity if nothing else uh, I don't know what it's gonna do long term but if you're trying to run a hundred and twenty watts uh, RMS I mean I imagine that if you have cross polarity and you're running that high for three of your speakers then that might be a problem but yeah, so you can see it. this is actually a 100 watt for 4 ohm. And I'm running four 4 ohm Poke Audio Marine speakers on the bike. Um, so that is what I'm shooting for. Um, and like I said, the guy from the company said that it wasn't a remote turn on. It does clearly say in the instructions that it is. And it does turn on um, with the remote. But I did learn the hard way that... I was trying to take the rear two speaker inputs from under the back seat rest and I was opening those up and splitting them so I'd have one channel supply the front, one channel supply the back so I didn't have to run inputs from the front two channels. Um, this did not work. It went right into protection mode. Um, I don't know why that is. I'm a, they didn't know why either when I talked to them. They just uh, pretty much said you can't do that. They don't know why. But um, I put all four. I'm assuming maybe it was a low amperage. It wouldn't trigger the automatic on from the sensitivity of the speakers. Um, so there's that. So pretty much it does work. I mean, it sounds good. I'm having some trouble, though, um, with the amp itself. So I just want to point out that definitely check your speakers um, with your amp. And um, if you're running a lot of watts, I'm uh, rethinking my plan. I might have to go with something that is running thicker wire than this. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine, but I'm used to the... I'm not used to these... Thin, it does make it easier. It is thinner, but I have it all with quick connects. Um... But if it keeps shutting, if it shuts itself down or overheats, then I imagine I'll just move on to a better amp. But it does sound good, I will say, with the Poke um, 100 RMS, 300 Max uh, DB series. I have uh, two of these guys in the front, which is the DB525s, um, coaxial. And then I have the 6.5 inch in the front. So there's that, and uh, I hope that helps. But yeah, it's, um, it makes the bike sound a lot better. This is a, came with a 2018 Yamaha Star Venture Transcontinental, and it sounded good, but after mid-range, it maxes out. So I just went all and put a upgrade everything, so it sounds a lot better on the highway. And the pipes on this thing are loud as hell, so if you're riding 80, uh, you need some noise to be able to hear the here clearly so all right hope this helps but yeah like i said just keep an eye out so you don't cross uh, i don't think it will blow anything the power in the ground and the remote were all in the correct spots and uh i mean that would be obviously much more important you blow out every second every time so but other than that and it does have double fuses 20 watt each uh 20 amp each excuse me so it does have onboard protection i did put a 60 amp inline uh six inches from the battery to protect that bike as well because um, if you ground out if you get if you, the power wire hits metal uh, i'm worried about hitting bare metal coming through the bag um, if it does ground out without that you're going to screw your bike up i'd imagine so i would highly recommend an inline fuse with anything that you run even if there are onboard fuses because you can always get a new amp cheap enough but uh, a brand new bike or any bike smoking any electrical would be a huge problem so just be careful with that all right thanks